I'll get to those in a minute. Right now, if you've missed it, you have less than a week to get your entries in to win this one of a kind CR250 that I built. Every $5 you spend on my website gives you one entry to win. Don't miss your opportunity. This is your last chance to win this one of a kind CR250. This is one of the cleanest bikes you're gonna find. I'll leave the build video linked below. That's to be one of the cleanest builds I think I've ever done. So right now, some of the merch is 50% off. Look on the site, pick yourself up something, get an entry, top link in the description to my website. I've said this a lot, torquestrap.com. These are the best moto straps you can get. I'll leave them linked below. These will get you 10 plus entries to win the bike. These things have like torque down technology that keeps the bike locked in. It'll never come unhooked. A couple different options on my website. If you need new moto straps, this is the time to do it because this is probably your last chance to get an entry in before the giveaway is over with. So we're gonna take the new electric shifter cart that I just got done building. <laughs> If you haven't seen the build series on this insane electric shifter cart, the Suron electric shifter cart, leave it linked below or in the corner on what motor and controller kit I have from Electro & Co. With the current gearing, this thing will do about 80 miles an hour. And then over here, I made a video on this Admin Jet Armor that'll also do about 80, 85. Mike's coming over. We're gonna race both of them before I tear this thing down. I'm bringing it back out before I strip it down to nothing to rob the motor, the controller, the whole, all the electronics from here, the battery, which I'm gonna have dedicated for the cart setup, which is just the battery that I'm hard mounting into here. For that, Torp Motors sent over their new controller kits for my Suron or Mike Suron. Mine's been modded for a while with an upgraded controller and tri battery to get more power. Torp Motors hooked it up with a new controller for Mike Suron. We're gonna get that installed and see how much more power we can get out of Mike Suron and what it'll do with the stock battery for now. Wanna get more power out of your Suron? Torp Motors is the way to do it. I'll leave them linked below. So the Torp kit comes with the controller, the a whole harness, hardware, screws, a cover over the controller. It'll kind of resemble the stock one. A display to go through your modes and maps. Should have it installed here in like 20, 30 minutes. It's on the skip plate down here. You pop this back piece and then it'll come down and then you unplug everything. See what's going on in here? Pop in that what did this wire go? The main big one is the actual controller. Pretty straightforward. Pop your stock controller forward. Take these bolts off on either side of the frame. Pop this back. Gives you wiggle room in here to unplug everything. Unscrew all the controller bolts. And it'll line up with the controller. Blue, green, yellow. Pretty straightforward. You really can't mess it up. The hardest part will just be getting all the wiring back tucked in to close this up. But it's not too hard. I'll just go through and then do the back side. One's way easier than what mine was to install, honestly. Mine was a pain to get on. Can't mess it up. No same plug, so whatever. Match up the plugs, they plug in. Everything bolted up. The plate back mounted. Put the cover on. We'll get this display mounted up on the bars. Now just bolts in on the top. It's pretty simple. All right, so there we go. Got it all installed. Looks super clean. It almost looks better than stock, honestly, all buttoned up. Technically, you don't have to do anything off the start. You can just turn the bike on. Everything will turn on and then it'll work for you. But we're gonna download the app, adjust some settings, bypass the battery, get more power out of it. So we're good to go. On the Torp app, you can do all the settings, see the speed, adjust kind of all the levels that you would need to do. Right here, all the settings, we max out everything. Motor current, 500 amps. Basically, the battery current gives you the top speed. The motor current gives you the torque. Fully maxed out. I'm gonna see what this thing can do. Might get 10 miles an hour faster and it'll hit a lot harder. We didn't click bypass the battery yet. Way more bark off the bottom end. Way more speed now. A stock Suron can't do power wheels. It has a mid range. That's more mid to top. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, stock Suron doesn't pull that hard. What did you max it out at? What's the top speed? 50, so a little bit more. Like I said, if you want to check out the Torp Motors TC500 kit, I'll leave it linked below. Definitely the way to go if you're upgrading your Suron and want to get more power. This is probably one of the cleanest looking kits that looks closest to stock. Maxed out with the motor. I don't know what throttle curve is. What's 100% throttle curve? You can adjust this way more with the Torp setup than my setup. I can't do any of that. Power curves and all that. The app is actually super easy to use compared to mine. new torp controller pulling you through that. I don't think that would have been possible without a torp controller. Stock, I don't think it would have pulled you up there. No tire? Bald, 
No tread. Your bulge straight. As you saw, the Torf setup is the way to go if you're upgrading your Suron. So we're gonna break out the cart. Mike's yet to try it in the 80 mile an hour gearing setup. So he's gonna run this. I'm gonna run the Death Trap Admid Jet, which the original video takes off on you. It has a mind of its own, cuts out. It's one of the first electric bikes with gears. So it has four gears, clutch. You can do Electro and Kyle. They said you can upgrade the controller and it shouldn't cut out. Moving to Florida, I don't wanna take this thing with me. I'm just gonna take all the electronics and make a build out of it. It's so weird, it has a neutral. It has a rev limiter too things just janky all right we're tight Real we're good tight. we're gonna do two races from a uh from a dig and then we'll do two rolling because this is harder to ship three go put it in eco mode two three go <laughs> takes way too much time to build up speed two three go junk it just cut out it cut out shut off actually yeah it's junk that's why oh yeah that's why i'm taking it apart it doesn't even run yeah the whole same thing oh now it works you gotta race the alto against that that might honestly be closer than this short distance short ah uh, this thing is junk junk can't even it just cut all the power on me i thought i'd be able to race this thing more but just leave it over here in the field time you give it power under hard power that's where the controller can't handle it uh, just cuts all the power then you got to undo this all take the undo the battery undo all these plugs maybe it'll work yeah many times i've walked this thing i don't know why i keep trusting that it's just gonna work good randomly but Go back and you were sideways. I didn't know you were gonna lock him up. What? I was gonna keep racing you, then you locked it up. I didn't know you were that close Dude, to me. You almost took me out. <laughs> Dude, you, you almost took me out. <laughs> I, I was literally, you'll see. I, I look at your marks from you locked no, up. I came right back. I was riding up on you. <laughs> and then I saw the smoke and I'm like, fuck. I look back, you're sideways. sideways smoke. I'm like, this, that's not good. Yeah. I thought we were gonna, I thought we were at speed. Speed, we were gonna try and run them. Oh, man. <laughs> that was so it's covered in grass. All right, you wanna actually- All I like smell is rubber right now. Locked into that, you're not jumping out. No, I thought no. you were gonna go in that culvert and like maybe flip, because we were doing like 60, 70 at that point. Uh, gave it the best it could do. It's just top speed. It takes too long to build up the speed. Where that, it's just instantly. And it cut out on me. Battle broke. Doesn't twist. No way.
All right, well, it still works, but the throttle's jammed up and uh, makes this thing extra sketchy now. It's the final hurrah for this Admid Jet Armor e-bike. All right, well, that is the end for this thing. I don't even want to ride it anymore. So time to uh, take this apart, rob all the parts, and basically throw everything else out. I'm wondering if these forks would work like the KTM 85 forks on my Suron. So I'm going to keep the triple clamps and forks and then maybe get a smaller front wheel. Maybe that'll work for that. But other than that, everything else is pretty much junk. So that's a wrap with that Chinese electric dirt bike and the e-cart. If you want to see more e-cart videos, make sure you're subscribed. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is your last chance, less than one week to get your entries in. Top link in the description to my website. Every $5 spent gives you one entry. And September 24th, want to win this one of a kind CR250. So, on that, if you guys are new, make sure you're subscribed so you can have a chance to win this one of a kind CR250.